I think football showed me just the amount of effort and time it takes to you know, become great at something. I've always had something I wanted to wake up and do every morning aggressively with everything I got. Antonio me dice, yo les he dicho, abuelo, a todos con los que yo hablo, que si no hubiera sido por ti, yo no estuviera aquí. Yo no fuera Antonio Ramiro Romo. Tony was never drafted. Sometimes you've got to make lemonade with the lemons they give you. This is it. You didn't get drafted. But there's teams out there that want you. Now what are you going to do about it? I was trying to be that, you know, that guy that you, that you want to be one day, the best version of yourself that you can see that's out there. He was the kind of kid that got in the dirt and, and scribbled the play in, in high school. And, and he was the guy in, in Eastern Illinois that just kept the team in every single game. You're sitting and watching like, hey, there's a guy that we used to play with, now he's starting for the Dallas Cowboys. It's easy to forget that they're people first and they're athletes second. Sometimes you get people that are successful and they do change, and that's unfortunate. But that's never really been the case with Tony. He's always been a pretty small town guy. When you talk about the grind, you talk about the teammate that you are, the way you treat the people in your organization and the people in the area, I think that would define my idea of his legacy more than how many touchdowns he threw or how many games he won. 14 years, one team, not too many people get to do that. No one's perfect, no one does things the right way all the time. You know, God's got you, you go through the ups, you go through the downs, you come out on the other end. Hopefully if you're lucky, you got a bunch of people around you that love you, that are there with you. Then you've done it probably the right way.